All right, if you're a regular viewer on my channel, then maybe you saw a couple of months ago I posted my video of a little mini cannon, this one right here actually, that I made for my tutorial on Nighthawk and Light's channel, where you use the igniter and the fuel tank from a barbecue lighter, a scripto lighter to be exact, aim and flame 2, I believe it was, as well as the barrel of an airsoft gun yeah to make these little mini cannons and you see on the counter before you and it kind of caught on like a sickness I still have a couple of others not on the counter here that um, ended up not working so well but the ones that actually actually did work I have here now and this is the uh, first one that I made you can see really sloppy <laughs> but uh, yeah this is the one from that previous video I showed I realized it's kind of hard to see most of the footage I took was really dark so you could see the uh, so you could see the alcohol igniting inside the fuel tank of the lighter and I only showed just this one and now I have a uh, have a bunch of others that I made here too this was I believe the second one I made which is pretty much the same overall except um, I use the barrel from a uh, from a higher end airsoft gun. Not a super nice one, but better better than the one this came from. Obviously, this was for a really cheap gun. This one actually has a hop up, which creates a better pressure seal for a more powerful and noticeably louder shot. And this one obviously also shoots a lot straighter than the other. So I believe I made. This one where you can you can see on these the screw kind of crisscross like this where your spark jumps across which makes reaching in there I found anyway it makes reaching into the fuel tank to rub the alcohol on the inside of the gun made it a little bit more difficult you know when the q-tip snags on the screws and gets a little cotton fibers in there so I found if I just orientated the screws like so where they cross over from either side like that but put them close enough together that a spark can still jump across then uh, that made actually loading this a lot easier like so then I have this one here this one I just wanted to see would the uh, fuel tank from a smaller lighter still work for building you know basically the same overall thing so obviously this isn't going to be as powerful as the others this was mostly just to see would it even work like a little stubby barrel actually I think this was a larger barrel that I cut down and then I used the other half of the barrel on this one here yeah this one's a lot cleaner you can see in my placement of the wires and everything and how I epoxy the barrel and then I took the metal casing from the outside of the neck of the lighter that just so happened to be a perfect fit over a six millimeter airsoft barrel so I cut down that casing and fit it over to make kind of a, a really cool looking barrel shroud here and then on a couple of these I even used a slightly uh, slightly larger bolt going into a slightly larger hole obviously to make again just to make loading with a q-tip a little bit easier but uh, enough talk let's shoot some of these things so let's just do it in the order that I made them I guess so we have first one I made here which used to have a smaller hole which I may have accidentally stripped out so I'm using a larger bolt than from when I previously posted this but on all of these I'm using around the bolt here you see I have a piece of nylon tubing that only keeps it from going in so far so, uh, number one to act as kind of a support so the screw is not wobbling from side to side and stripping out the plastic like what happened before but also it keeps it from going in too far so the spark from your igniter isn't arcing across from these screws here and shocking my thumb when I go to fire this. If I can get this unscrewed, we'll load it and fire it. Yeah, there we go. 
still a tight fit. Alright. 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Just soak the tip of the cube tube. Like so. Whoops. I can do this without smacking the tripod. Six millimeter airsoft BB. Load it up like so. Make sure it's fully seated. So using the ramrod from an old airsoft gun as well. Alright. See if we can fire this thing. Oh yeah. All right, and this one, again, noticeably louder and noticeably more powerful. Some more rubbing alcohol on the Q-tip. This one's a little bit unreliable. I don't know if it's going to fire or not, but we'll see. millimeter airsoft BB. I'm going to make good and sure that it's fully seated in the, uh, the rubber gasket and the hop up at the back of that barrel. And then I'm still using the smaller bolt in the back of this gun. Hope it fires. So do it this way so you can see. Ah, I shocked my thumb there. Oh yeah a little bit scary and then this one it's one of the less powerful ones out of all of these even though it's probably the best in overall design got to move faster here and talk unless this camera is going to automatically stop recording after 10 minutes Not very powerful compared to the others, but this one is one of the more reliable as far as actually firing, igniting. But if it fires, you'll notice it's a little bit quieter than the others. If I can stop shocking my own thumb. Not quite as loud, not quite as powerful as the others. Oops. All right, then the cute little tiny one here. This one's really unreliable, so I don't know if this one's even going to fire. Alright, so you can we even get a shot off with this thing. Hey, it fired! What do you know? And last, but definitely not least. See, with these 6mm airsoft barrels, I found that a plastic drinking straw, like this one here, just so happens to be a perfect fit inside the barrel. So I figured I could cut about an 8-inch, eight inch, maybe a quarter-inch piece, and put it at the back of the barrel to create a better pressure seal around the BB, allowing for a more powerful shot, obviously. But again, this one, like a couple of the others, is a little bit unreliable. We'll try it anyway. Okay, here we go. Holy goodness. Alright, so yeah, those are the different mini cannons I made from Nighthawk and Light's instructions and all their various shapes and sizes, and this is the latest evolution, I guess. 
and I don't know, maybe maybe I'll wait until it gets dark and roll in some more footage of these firing in sort of a darkly lit room so you can see the alcohol igniting in here just because it looks awesome. Yeah. So I'll put a link to Night Nighthawk and Light's original video in the description. I say definitely check it out if you want to see just how exactly to make one of these. Alright, peace.